I think these days it's too easy to get your hands on information, products from all over the world and we, we are losing our respect for the local. The beauty of local materials, beauty of like local everything. For this build it's all about local for me and I'll explain you why. It's because I, I think, because it's so easy, you can order anything, you can access any information. We just are, we are just forgetting about the, the, how nice local materials are. And this is like something very important for all makers out there. I wasn't realizing when I was using exotic hardwoods what, what kind of harm it would have on nature and environment. And now I am, and I'm, I'm feeling a bit ashamed I use those materials, because I now know, like, even local materials can be so nice, it's, I never thought about that. So I'm now using local materials, and I'm starting to see, for, for handle materials, for example, and I'm starting to see, you, you know, this is, this is a really nice kind of wood, why, did, why would I need to let something come over from all over the world? So I can make a nice knife if there's like true beauty you can find locally. And it's the same with this project. I started out I didn't know what, what kind of knife I would want to make. Uh, and I thought, yeah, I can make a katana again. Or again, you mean like something from a different culture? Because that's, what interest, that's what's interesting to me. You can like, without going physically to a location like Japan or Indonesia, you can like dive into the culture and like do an attempt of making like something from that culture and that's nice but I realized I like never dived into that like typical Dutch or typical European culture which is like Viking stuff I'm even using this local music I thought it would be cool to incorporate a local friend of mine, which makes great music, Jakob, in this video, because I'm using this. Usually, I'm using I'm using music from some sort of site, and this is all very easy. But still, when I'm I'm thinking about it now, I'm not like putting full respect to that maker of the music. And it's the same when, when I buy a handle material, it's the same when we do whatever, you know, it's like you buy something, it's like okay we have it now and then we don't realize what's behind the product or what's behind the person or the, the music or whatever. It's just becoming a really, really easy thing, too easy. <laughs>
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Much time has went in this video into the build actually and into the video as well. I took a long time to record everything, to record the music, to edit it. It's, uh, I'm trying to bring my videos up to a new level and this just takes time and would hugely appreciate if you guys would share this video with some friends. This really helps to grow my channel. Um, big thanks to Jacob for the great music. Definitely check him out in the description. I will put his link to his Instagram in the description. The blade itself is not for sale actually, simply because it's not up to my current standard. The Damascus pattern has some aesthetical flaws and also the edge billet has some dots you can see and these spots, they're almost like a line but they are like made out of dots. And it's like really small, but since I etched it really deeply, you can see them pretty well right now. And this means it's not like a delamination, but it's more like a weaker weld. And because of this, I just don't feel confident selling the blade. Not that I expect somebody to use a blade this long, but you know, even though this blade is not for sale, you can still order a blade just by going to my website. I will put the link in the description as well. This is probably the last video I will publish in 2019. So I wish you guys all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching.